All right, so we are off on our first camping trip in the car. And where are we headed? Bullard State Beach Campground. Bullard State Beach Campground. 600 feet, turn right onto F. But unfortunately, the tent we got, we got an SUV tent. Where At the light, didn't work turn out. right onto Evans Boulevard. Where we still have a mattress for the back, which is good. Yeah, I'm really disappointed about the tent. There's one of those uh, stupid ones that, you know, had the bars that bend over to keep pressure on it. Just that they're uh, the crappiest design tents ever.
like when the they, modern they, research has shown that that is better than thinning trees at a you know a smaller rate. It doesn't affect the connection between the trees. The side. It's better to take just a bigger patch off and then replant. Okay. Than to break the connections, break the mycelium connections between the trees yeah. by only taking you know one every so often. Yeah. That's actually more destructive. It causes all the trees to slow down and grow. Hmm. That, uh, when you see the, the clear cutting like that, it's, it kind of reminds you of uh, when the hobbits led the inch south. Oh, yeah. And they discovered all the, all, what the orcs had done to the forest and stuff. to the 
alongside the road. Take the next right, then your destination will be on the right. destination is on the right. Stays clear. We might be able to see the remnants of the uh, meteor showers tonight, which would be really nice. And this is our first camping trip. We get a map and everything. Yeah, I know this place is nice, isn't it? Yeah, this is really nice. This is Much really better than a lot of places I've been. Oh, yeah. Park Ranger truck. Cool. Just as long as Yogi doesn't show up later on, we'll be fine. Where the truck is, is two. Okay. A two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Six. Oh, empty back there. But... It's eight. Oh, we have a specific one we have to stay in. Okay. River reservation. I'm glad I made a reservation because there's no room now. There's 11. Is that where we're staying? Right here. Right here? Yep. I'm headed back in. Oh, we don't get any privacy. Great. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah, you get a nice little, um, get a drive like it did. Yeah. And you get your own like, picnic bench and you can set up a tent and it's really water nice. Water and electricity. A water no. and electricity. Let's go. Oh yeah, water and oh. electricity, which is really yeah. good. Oh, that's already stopped. Yeah. Alright, let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go take a look around the campground. This would be really cool. Alright guys, see you in a while. Here we are guys. Where are we? Bullard's State Beach Park Campground. <laughs> it's a mouthful. I really like this place. It is. It's really nice. This is this is what you get. Like we booked in tonight, and you get this lovely uh, like booth. I mean, you back could. Have, in, it's like a back-end driveway. There would have been plenty of room is. for the. There would have been plenty of room for the uh, for the tents. There would if you fit a, a big RV in here, and uh, over there you got a you know your own picnic, picnic table, table and, and stuff. a fire pit. And you get electricity and water. Yeah, there's electricity and water hookups over there. 
uh, and there, there are showers available here too which is fantastic so we're all set up unfortunately our tent didn't work out but, uh, okay, we'll get, we can get another one. We can. Let's give you a look. I mean, as you can see, you get, you get a good amount of space here, you know? Yep. Brilliant, it's lovely. It's so clean. It is. I'm it's so, really well kept. I'm so unused to. Restrooms yeah. are sharp this way. I could, I could do with a, with a potty brush. There are so many campgrounds I've been to that have just been just disgusting. Oh yeah. All right. I'll be right out. the little boots and some of them some of them are really private like they've got a big hedge all the way around them too which is really nice you know oh you know our pop-up tent would be nice too i was thinking of that as we were driving in the one we have on the deck yeah yeah but that's kind of nice on the deck too though we would get another one though yeah it's just really nice Oh, there's something on the sign there as well. Yeah, I think that's just the reservation. Uh, yep. Okay. Reservation required. Yeah. Yeah, it's just... It'd be so nice to spend like a couple of days here. Yeah. It would get all right by the beach too, aren't we? you can pick your own space to reserve. Yeah. Yeah, there's some people who just have a tent. Yeah, there's a big RVs. Fifth wheelers and... Oh, nice. Watch out. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, I think that's a lovely spot over there too. Love them could do with repaving. Yeah. But they're not bad. This is so pleasant. It's just really, really nice. We'll definitely be coming uh, on lots of camping trips down here. Camping camping season isn't over by a long shot. No. Oh, our summers go on well into October. Into September, we'd be able to reserve it. Yeah, we definitely can go and have a couple of days. This is really nice. Yeah. August 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th. It's only the 11th today. Mm -hmm. Probably, the, yeah, this is where you get firewood if you want firewood. Oh, um, nice. What's not a little bit of Very nice. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And I absolutely recommend getting firewood from the campsite itself because if you bring firewood from home, you don't know what kind of pests are in it. Yeah, yeah. And it would be a real shame for, a, you know, outside pests to come into a nice park like this. That's, That's cornhole. Oh, nice. You get uh, bean bags and you toss them in the hole. Oh, <laughs> nice. I have no idea why it's called cornhole. No idea. No idea. <laughs> nice old field though. It is. This is definitely a lovely spot if you're visiting Southern Oregon. These are uh, yurts. These are rentable yurts. Oh wow, how much are those? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They have those over my cork as well. Um, 
they're a new thing, they've become very popular around the world. Very nice because you know you can bring your own uh, little grill out here. And yeah, those, those would be really nice. We should think about one of those too. Well, we'll, we'll price them at least. It's a big park too, isn't it? It is. Trail, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, look at them. Those are really nice. Those yurts. Oh yeah. Very nice. Spacious. From the parking for the yurts too. Yeah. Amphitheater. Evening Ooh. program. Yeah, that's the, uh, it starts on the 14th. Wow. You know, look at the amphitheater. Yeah. It looks, not, it looks as nice as the rest of it. Hollywood, 849 miles. Oh, there's a bunch of uh, signs. Oh yeah, look oh, at that's that. that's so cool. That's really cool. Oh, these are Very really nice. nice. Very yeah. well maintained. Very well, yeah. Oh, that could almost be a bonsai tree. <laughs> could, yeah. Well, a giant one. <laughs> Very nice. That's beautiful. Taking a show here. Yeah. yeah. You can easily put up a. That must be a screen. Must be, yeah. You can easily put up a projector here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that is. That's a robin. Hmm. Scrubbing for its dinner. That's a beautiful tree. Beautiful bird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not afraid of anything. Yeah. So if this close to people, they'd be a little like uh, blue jays. Oh yeah. Yeah, blue jays terrifying. <laughs> This is a really, now it's, really now it's nice time camp. Now to name that bird. Can I identify the bird? saying it's hearing it but it can't you can't place it hmm. weird at least the app knows where I am yeah sometimes with those squeaky birds Merlin has problems yeah hard to see parks administrative office Hiker biker camp. Hiker oh, biker camp. I didn't even camp. know there was a biker camp here. Yeah. This is amazing. So it's just big enough for just a tent. Yeah, just a and tent. There, and there are bike locks there and everything. Yeah. Garbage dumps. Yeah. Ice and dump stations for our kids. Yeah. Yeah. 
Fantastic boots. Oh, there's more than one park post. I wonder if there's a park post for every loop. Maybe. Must be. Yeah. Probably spend it in the summer here. Not a bad place to spend your summer. No, this would be this would be gorgeous to uh you know get away from home and mm -hmm. we have uh, at least disposal things and at least bags and Better than Cruise Bay. That's nice. Well, it's a state park, so presumably that means the state pays for this, right? It's not like up to Yeah, but not all state parks are of this quality. Yeah. Well, it's a beautiful part of the country, so you know you want to keep keep up appearances here. And I guess you're right by the coast, there. by the beach. It's just it's a really yeah, if you nice vacation a super spot. If it's a super open spot, you know? A super open spot, yeah, and there's not a look, there's not a one of those. Yurt. Yurt. Oh, they left their hammocks in the trees. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. All right. You want to go back? Yeah. No, oh, that's really cool. Brilliant. Well, I think we're going to have a, a good one night stay here. Yep. No doubt we will be back down here again. And it looks like the skies might be clear. So we, you never know, we might get to see. A little bit of the last of the meteor shower. Yeah. Which would be brilliant. Yeah, there we go. Full hookup, 33 for resident. Yurt. 42 for non-resident. Still not bad for night for a nice place like this. 53 for a year. Seven, really seven for bikers. That's yeah. really reasonable. It is very reasonable. 53 for a year. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Horse campsites are only 21 because you know you got to put up with the. Uh... Yeah. Nice. Very nice. No. No restrictions. No beach restrictions apart from no fires. No fires and we just have to be careful for the, the occasional clover nest. We all know that young may try to come back to the nest. Yeah. So, you know, we just have to be careful that, you know, we're not going to step on somebody. Yeah. here for longer than maybe but not really I mean it's you know it's not exactly cold. Yeah. It'll be nice and warm in the car. Yeah.
I'll put a link in the description too to this website. It does have a website, right? Uh, there is a website, yes. Yeah, so viewers can get all the information they want if they want to come down here. Oh. There we go. Hey, so back bad. home. Yeah. yeah. I killed for a root beer right now. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're going to leave you go and. Uh, Go get the set, go get set in for tonight. But yeah, just so beautiful here. Ah, good morning, everyone. On day two of our trip, and we'll be doing the trail in a little bit. But we woke up to this wild turkeys actual wild turkeys yeah there's a flock of them there pretty cool huh they're pretty big they are yes i, I wasn't expecting them to be that big See you on the trail. And off we go. Leaving our little campsite. And the name again? Bullard State Beach Park. Yep. Yeah. And this trail. Apparently it leads out to uh, a lighthouse. Yeah. Coquille River lighthouse, I think. Well, it should be fun anyway. It is 8.30 in the morning. A little bit of morning fog. This is pretty nice. It's a little on the narrow side, but uh, it's nice. I like that you get a uh, shelter like this along the way because if it was really sunny and later on in the afternoon it gives you a bit of a break. Apparently there are moles here. There's some mole hill. Oh, okay. And we know there's wild turkeys. Oh yeah. little piles on the ground and molehills. Yeah. A few of them could be anthills. Yeah.
nice and quiet. Um, I saw a few people coming out earlier. Oh, resting spot. Another nice resting spot right there. That's really oh, nice. Cool. You have a little picnic there or something. Coming up behind us. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, look at that down there. That's a nice picnic area. Yeah, it is nice. Nice. Very nice. A little, um, what do you call that, a gazebo or something? Very nice. I'm just checking the trail. Oh. That's kind of a wild area in there. Yeah. Very nice. I can hear birds down here. Oh yeah, there's lots of them around. Those wild turkeys were a lot bigger than I thought they'd be. Yeah, they get really big. They're greedy buggers too. There's another reason you don't eat food out. Yeah. Mm. Oh, look. Hey, we can see the water. Yet more picnic -y areas. That's really nice. It's very well maintained. It's a really nice campground. It is very manicured. It is. With spots of wild. Yeah. And I can see the ocean over there. Looks nice. I think that's a uh, restrooms down there, is it? Yep. There's plenty of restrooms around the, the park. They're not going to be short. Yeah. West with shelter. And another uh, picnic area. They really put a lot of effort into this place.
of my paving needs to be done here. Yeah, it is, it is a little rough. You have to be kind of be careful as you're walking along. It's quite bumpy. Look at this, this is so nice with the morning fog. Oh, it's just beautiful. saying good morning. Nemesis, the Scotch broom. Oh. And here to the right, this is. Yeah, yeah. This is all invasive. Oh, coming up to a bit of a hill. moderate part of the trail because of the hill, yeah.
Oh, it's a bit sandy along here. That's nice. Yeah, you do have plenty of shelter from the sun on this one. Nice place to ride bikes too. individual oh, corrals for horses down there. Down there? Uh, wow. Well, somewhere here. This is cool, it's like going into a tunnel. <laughs> This hasn't been done for quite some time. You have to watch your stuff a little bit. This would be spectacular on a really sunny day. But it might get quite warm. Oh, very warm, yeah. Acres and acres of scrub pine. Yeah. And you can see the sand dunes up ahead. You can hear the ocean. Close now. Yeah, I'm sure this is a left. Left. 
We zoomed down that way? We zoomed down that way, but we have to walk um, by the road. Yep. The Lord uh, Beach Road. So on the other side is the... Uh, that's the lot of folks. So that's basically the end of the trail in there. That goes to the beach and uh, some horse the trails. Yeah. Um, but we're heading for the lighthouse. Yes. Just cross over here. So this is what we get. This is what we get, yeah. Well, still a kind of a trail. I'm not actually walking on the road. Really ready to How far down here do you reckon it is? lovely to hear the sounds of the ocean.
shouldn't take us too long to get out there. Careful of the horse droppings. It was nice getting away last night. Oh yeah. First time camping in years. Learned a few things. Yeah. <laughs> Next time bring pillows. Yeah. Pillows really help. <laughs> yeah. Ocean. You can, we're very close now. It's like literally just over those dunes over there. I don't see any sign of a lighthouse. I can kind of see it through the fog. This is a good distance, like, you know, if you're trying to keep your walking up yep. while you're out camping. Oh, well, it's 
strawberry on the ground. And it's nice that you guys are getting to see some of the Oregon coast too, again. Uh, up until now we've kind of been in forested areas, which we love. Just over those dunes. But walking in deep sand, it swells down so much. Oh, it would, yeah. I like that there's plenty of space at the side of the road too. You, know, you don't feel like you're walking on the road. Yeah. Which is good. Kind of wish they'd paved it, but you know. Yeah. There's only so much money in a budget. Exactly. Looks like a fairly new road too. Uh, it does look very new. I'd well, say it's it was, redone. Probably. Yeah, I'd say it was redone only like a couple of years ago or something. And I don't think we'll get a whole lot of really heavy traffic on it to, you know, no, to destroy no. it. Nice to people with the horse and come out here as well. It's a good place for horse trails. Yeah.
fairly long walk. Uh, it's definitely longer than two miles. Right, we're already at 2.24. Yeah. Where are we on the map? The adventures of the lost hikers. Down here. Uh, wow, we're not even halfway down this road. Get a little past halfway. Wow. I'm a little concerned about the battery in the memory. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the battery's okay so far. We have a spare battery on us. We hope. Might have been one of the things that got forgotten, I don't know. Oh, well I saw you had two of them in your hand before we left the house. It doesn't matter, like, because we're still well into the green. Hello. Oh, no. There you go. Hiya. Don't worry, guys, you'll be with us till the end. Today we're dead. Yeah. Because remember, we gotta go all the way back. I think that's the lighthouse up ahead. That's the lighthouse. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see it in camera yet. It's a bit foggy. Yeah, it would be nice if they actually extended the the trail all the way down here again. Yeah, that's true. But again, there's some only so much that a budget can do. Exactly, yeah, it would cost a lot of money. Well, 
crowd inside. Can't wait to see this lighthouse. We're sorry, the lighthouse was demolished in 1902. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why people are putting up reviews of it two months ago. Yeah. <laughs> Time travelers. We're still in this car. We can see it a bit more clearly now. Let's see it over there. Not much further now, guys. Apologies for that, guys. Well, it's the first battery ran out. <laughs> it's been a long trail. Don't have to worry, we just put in a fresh battery. Last night they're coming out with a sand disc, I think it's coming out with a uh, 8 terabyte SD cards and 4 terabyte micro SD cards. Wow! It's be just amazing. Now, I don't fancy editing that much 2K and 4K video. That would take some time to render. The term home movie takes on a whole new meaning. Yeah. We can be proud of our steps today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can see the lighthouse clearly now. I catch you shot, oh yeah. <laughs> I can see it right from the top of this gift shop. <laughs> That's a, uh, cracked on that one. I wonder if we could cut through the brush there. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be a good idea. No, probably not. I'm lost. 
Oh, what are these spiky things? the people coming around the curve can't really see us. Oh yeah. Right now. We knew we'd make it there eventually, and that was definitely a nice hike. Oh, well, there is only one road. Yeah. It's nice and warm too. Yeah. Spring, this would almost be tragic. Okay, restroom. Yeah, there's restrooms here, which is awesome. And there is the lighthouse. We'll just wait for Linda and then uh, we'll head up there. Foghorn seems a bit low. It is quite foggy. And again, some benches there. And we're right by the dunes, like in the ocean, it's just right there. And it sounds like a foghorn. It seems very low though. child of the 80s is terrified of that sound <laughs> that's the movie the fog and they might be having difficulty getting out <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm stuck in a public loop for the rest of my life. Uh, with plenty of toilet paper, there are worse places to be stuck. <laughs>
Are we allowed to walk up to it or? Yeah. Yeah. Beach fire is prohibited. Yep. This time of year we are at Code Yellow. Oh yeah, peak fire season. And we have enough of the damn things this year. It is. I wonder why it was built 1800s by the looks of it. Let's see. Yep, 1896. Yeah. What's that? Look about it. And as promised, there's the ocean, there's the beach. Pretty nice, huh? In 1963, they restored a lot of the lighthouse. It took them 10 years. Yeah. Of the eight lighthouses remaining on the Oregon coast, Coquille River Lighthouse is the last constructed. fishing here. We can't show that to you guys, we'll be lying down by then. But this is absolutely beautiful. How nice is that, huh? Pretty far, I still see puddles. Oh, yeah, they're pretty rough there in storms. There's a quick look at the beach.
Isn't that something? Worth the walk. And for miles along this beach every year, snowy plovers come to lay their eggs and hatch the trip here. Yeah, you gotta be careful of them to have to stand on them. So. Actually, I'm not sure if they're snowy plovers or another type of plover. I know they are plovers. I like to call them the railroad birds. They like to sit on the railroads back in Coos Bay and yell. Yeah. I see them when we go on our walks down by the bay. Alright guys, we will leave it there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell button. Uh, I will be going live uh, tonight, and both here on YouTube and on Twitch. I'll be streaming a lot for it. And if you want to support the channel and support future uh, hiking trips, there are links in the description. Much appreciated. See you later. Well, that was an exciting adventure. Now it's time to head home. This is a lovely state park. It's really oh, well it's kept. It's gorgeous and it's clean and the bathrooms are clean. <laughs> I mean, there are showers. Mm hmm. Morning, you get plenty of blue jays screaming insults at you. <laughs> Cute, I like the Mercedes. Yeah, they're nice. It's a small little camper, but it's got a slide out. A63. Yeah. A59, A60. Got that good spot. Somewhere we were was very good, there's, I thought. There's an insect in here, it's killing me. Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to smack me in the face. <laughs> no, I'm trying to hit the insect that's on the side of your face. Yeah, a lot of the spaces in the A loop are, are great. That's a really private one. I know. This is, it's just a beautiful state park. That's a classic right there. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, really, that's old. That's real old, that's the 80s or something. An RV. That cool it's electric massive. Jeep there, what it go. Yeah. Pull outs and everything. Yeah, you're rich if you want to get one of those things and actually drive it around. Oh yeah, the, the fuel cups are enormous. You can take it to um, a mobile home park, park it, and get non-op insurance. Yeah. In which you're promising not to drive the damn thing. Yeah. And it costs like a fraction of the money. Very cool. Definitely easy. a cool spot. Super easy. Mm -hmm. 
the whole process of reserving, checking in. Was oh, it's all brilliant. Easy. Yeah. And each of the places has its own fire pit and everything. It's just, just really nice. Very well designed layout too. Yeah, like Behringer have um, big electric trucks now, you know, like lorry size. Yeah. And um, I'm kind of hoping one of the RV companies picks them up. Uh, and starts building like Winnebago or something, starts building RVs on top of them. That'd be awesome. So that just be perfect. Yep.
back home safe and sound. We're just tapping the safe way. So I'd say that's a wrap. Yep, yep. Alright, guys, we leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was uh, longer than expected, but uh, very cool at the same time. It's a nice car. Um, yeah, so thanks for uh, subscribing um, and watching, following. Uh, don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that bell button. Uh, and if you want to help support future trips, there are links in the description. Uh, that would be awesome because the channel isn't monetized yet, so everything yep. helps. All right, so hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a good one. See you later. See you later.